Hi there, it's Ruth here. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk to you about one of my favourite books that I have been rereading, and it's The Magic Path of Intuition by Florence Scovelshin. And I want to talk to you more about Florence really because she published her first book in 1925 and she was considered a New Age thought leader. And her books were about manifesting, and you can get the four books that she published in her lifetime, the complete works. Um, that is available and she really believed in intuition she talks very much about it from a religious perspective so if religion is not your thing you have to replace the word god with universe divine spirit whatever you feel is appropriate to you um but things have been feeling a bit stagnant and the same recently and the two things i do when i feel like that is pick up my deck of oracle cards or go to a book and open it at any page and i love this little book it's so easy to read and it has a lovely little story with it so back in 2012, apparently, a rare book, um, a rare book company, a rare bookshop, came across a manuscript, a typewritten manuscript by Florence that had never been published. And they sent that to Louise Hay, who you're probably very familiar with. She's the CEO, or was the CEO, and she was the founder of Hay House Publishing. And they offered her this script because they, they thought she was perfectly positioned to bring it into the world. And so she did. And it's a beautiful book and it's been published beautifully with Florence's words, but some beautiful imagery in it as well. So when you're intuition, when you're into intuition, like me and all things intuition related, and I love books, I love to pick up a book, open it to any page and see what comes up. And I've done that right now. And here's the paragraph that stood out for me that I'm going to read to you. Never say I am broke as it impresses the subconscious with a picture of emptiness. The game of life is a game of solitaire. As you change, so do your affairs. Affirm, I am now immune to all hurts and frustrations. The power within is perfect peace and perfect poise. Isn't that beautiful? So she was writing that so long ago um, and she knew so much about manifestation and she calls them affirmations today would call them affirmations or mantras but she truly believes in intuition and I love that never say I am broke never say it because it makes the subconscious think you are and it's a reminder that abundance is all around us and especially when we don't feel like we have abundance or things that working out for us it's a reminder to be grateful and to have the attitude of gratitude for everything that we do have because the universe is going to mirror that energy back to us it's going to mirror that intention back to us. So I'm grateful to have had this book. I'm grateful to share Florence with you. And I'm grateful if you've watched this video. So take care till next time. Bye everyone.